مرکزی بی جے پی حکومت کی جانب سے یونیفارم سیویل کوٹ کے نفاظ کی باتیں ہو رہی ہیں وزیر آزم نریندر موڈی کا کہنا ہے کہ سب ہی بھارتیوں پر ایک سیویل قانون نافذ کیا جانا چاہیے اور اسی لیے لو کمیشن آف انڈیا نے یونیفارم سیویل کوٹ کے متعلق کسی قسم کے کوئی ڈرافٹ کے بغیر عوام سے ان کی رائے جاننے کی کارروائی میں مصروف ہے یونیفارم سیویل کوٹ کے متعلق اپوزیشن پارٹیوں کا کہنا ہے کہ یہ بی جے پی کا اگلے پارلیمانی الیکشن کے لیے پولرائزیشن کا ایجنڈا ہے جو کہ عوام کا اصل مدوں سے دھیان بھٹکانے کے لیے اور گمراہ کرنے کے لیے لایا جا رہا ہے اس سلسلے میں متعدد سماجی کارکنان نے یونیفارم سیویل کوڈ کو لے کر مرکزی حکومت پر سنگین سوالات اٹھائے اور کہا کہ مختلف قوانین میں جو غیر برابری یا ڈسکریمنیشن ہے انہیں ضرور دور کیا جانا چاہیے لیکن اس کا مطلب یونیفارم سیویل کوڈ ہرگز نہیں ہے انڈیا ہیز پٹ آؤٹ اے نوٹس آسکنگ فار اوپینین آن دا یونیفارم سیول کوڈ بٹ اٹ ڈز ناٹ گیو اے ڈرافٹ اٹ ڈز ناٹ گیو اے ریزن وائی دس یونیفارم سیول کوڈ از نیسیسری ڈز ناٹ گیو دا آبجیکٹو اف یو ار برنگنگ اباؤٹ اے لا یو شوڈ مینشن واٹ از دا پرابلم دیٹ یو ار ٹرائنگ ٹو سالو وتھ دیٹ لا واٹ از دا ایشو دیٹ یو ار ٹرائنگ ٹو سالو واٹ ڈز دا لا پرووائڈ فار واٹ از گوئنگ ٹو بی دی ایفیکٹ اف دا لا آن دا رائٹس اف پیپل واٹ از گوئنگ ٹو ہاؤ از اٹ گوئنگ ٹو ایفیکٹ دا رائٹس اف پیپل انسٹیڈ اف دیٹ یو ار جس دے ہیو جس پٹ آؤٹ اے نوٹس سیئنگ دیٹ یو گیو یور اوپینین اباؤٹ دا یونیفارم سیول کوڈ دیٹس تھری ورڈز بیسیکلی دیٹ دے ار سیئنگ ان فیکٹ اف یو لک بیک 2018 the law commission of india put out a discuss, uh, discussion paper consultation paper on this very issue where it after several rounds of consultation has actually said a uniform civil code is neither des- uh, necessary nor desirable that is what specifically says and it's, it even uh, looks at the whole gamut of personal laws and says yes there is discrimination in each and every personal law of whichever religion that you look at there is discrimination even in various secular laws what needs is what is required is that the inequality that is there in these laws has to be set right the discrimination that is there has to be set right and equality has to be brought in whether it is in any of the personal laws of any religion or of the secular laws but uniformity is absolutely not necessary diversity is something that we should actually look and celebrate and we should ensure to make sure that the, the gender discrimination that is prevalent has to be brought in so what we are saying is that absolutely uniformity is un- not necessary not desirable words of the law commission of india itself ucc is being communalized uh, and uh, the conversation has moved completely away from gender justice and it has become about the personal laws of one community uh, we are here to reiterate that a uh, uh, a code which looks at equality in all communities and within all personal laws is a long standing feminist movement's demand and we cannot let that language or that movement be appropriated by communal agents so we are here as women's groups as lgbtqi groups as human rights groups to say that we want to move away from the communalization and focus on the women and the other marginalized groups who are going to be affected by uh a code of this kind if it comes and if it doesn't come then personal laws are going to be discriminating against all of these communities so that demand we want to foreground that's why we are here so what why the government is doing it or why the lci has put out this notification at this time that those are all questionable because one is your notification doesn't say why you want to bring ucc what is the ucc where is the draft all those questions are there two is also it has become a social media campaign as all of us know it has become a yes or no question do you want ucc don't you want ucc that's not such a simple question to ask and an answer to give but that is what it has been reduced to a social media campaign see there is there is a need for reform in almost every community our indian society is largely patriarchal whether it is muslim hindu christian or customary you know adivasi communities largely it is patriarchal there are some streams of matrilineal uh, you know uh, you know cultures in different places but i would say we don't single out any one community as either the ideal or the most negative example i would say that every community needs to discuss this issue keep women in the center of the discussions women in leadership women who have experienced uh no violence who have supported women who have been addressing issues of justice they should be consulted and 
you know these issues needs to be uh, kind of find a root in every community not only hindu not only muslim not only christian not only adivasi not only parsi or sikh if a if a politician gives this kind of a call it is a very politicized comment i would say there has been the 2018 report of the previous law commission has given comments for every community what are the major drawbacks in each community law in each community code and what can be reformed so that would be a much better way of looking at it objectively see we think that the way that the whole debate the proposal has come forward we feel that this really in a way trivializes the more serious issues of gender justice that should have been foregrounded but instead instead of talking about gender justice in all in all laws whether it's personal or secular which is our concern as women's groups we are concerned with gender justice in all communities and in secular laws and in personal laws and in customary laws but we are extremely shocked at the way in which this whole issue has been framed you know starting with the law commission notice which leaves it open to interpretation you know there is no discussion on gender justice but there's more discussion on the so called uniformity you know so our question is what is this uniformity who do you want to bring uniformity to we are a diverse country we are a diverse country with diverse communities diverse practices diverse contexts we want gender justice in all these diverse contexts can you bring this about with a uniform civil code is our question what is this notion of uniform civil code but instead it has only let loose a few words it has only let loose a few words into the public arena which is that of uniformity and it is being taken forward by the social media you know which is projecting it as focusing only on some personal laws especially that of minorities etv bharat ke liye bangalore se rafiq chappar ki report